What's up guys, Draven here, back again with another video. And today we are going to be playing arguably the best wrestling game ever made in SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. However, we are going to be playing a modded version of this game. Now for those that don't know, this cool YouTuber who goes by the name of Scott J01, he basically does videos of classic WWE games, mostly ranging from the early SmackDown series. And as a person who was a huge fan of the early SmackDown series, I had to check this out. I believe you still could get this mod, but it's going to be for a little bit over a month now. Until he moves on to version 11. This version I'm playing right here is version 10.5, so it's not quite finished yet, but if you want to check out his channel, I'm going to put the link down below. And as you can see, we have RVD right here in his SmackDown Shut Your Mouth attire, which looks pretty cool. So, um... I'm gonna play the Royal Rumble, just to sort of showcase some of the superstars that were ported into the game. Yep. It's always one of my favorite match types. And obviously, as you can see here, with the exception of Hulk Hogan, the superstars that were ported into the game don't have their own character selection picture, because obviously this was fan-made. And yep, this is Hulk Hogan right here. He's another guy that was supposed to be in the game alongside with Jeff Hardy and the Ultimate Warrior, but that did not happen. Um, it's funny too because Hogan's moveset and his entrance walk are still in the game itself, but they couldn't do that so they put some jobber named Rodney Mack. Uh, I mean, um, we're just going to play the game right here. Um, I'm going to play as Hogan brother, and I'm going to be number one, you know. I might want to make a few changes here. Let's see. I'm getting rid of the big show. I don't know. Should I keep routine here? I don't know. I just want to make some changes here, just so I could showcase some superstars here, but... Um... I think that's pretty much it. Um, okay, I'm gonna choose Batista and Jericho. I'm a huge Jericho fan. Um, Jeff Hardy definitely. Fuck Cena. Fuck that Wigger character. Um, I'm gonna choose a Shawn here. Uh, that guy had uh, so much potential. Uh, I'm gonna choose to Jerry. I'm going to choose um, Taz and a Test. I want to choose X-Pac here, maybe, I don't know. Should I choose X-Pac? I don't know. Billy Guns in the nose. Not just one left, I'll just choose X-Pac maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just choose X-Pac. And that's my final decision. And we are all ready now, so let's go. Ooh, look at who we have here, Lita. Dude, Lita was like the coolest diva during this time. Just a really hot punk rocker chick, you know? I do kind of apologize if this is kind of laggy for you guys, um, cause I'm actually playing this on an emulator, so take it for what it is. And here we have Hogan coming out to the iconic song Voodoo Child, which is one of my favorite Jimi Hendrix songs. I believe that's the only superstar entrance available for this game, um, like, you know, for superstars who didn't make the game, so... But I mean, just to look at Hogan right here. This superstar model looks really good. I know that Here Comes the Pain already had a stacked roster, but man, just imagine if they had Hogan as a playable character from launch. Not to mention guys like The Ultimate Warrior and Jeff Hardy being in it, ugh, like, it would've made the roster even better. I mean, like, not that the roster wasn't deep because it was, because you had guys like Kevin Nash, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Scott Steiner. 
um, you know, Shawn Michaels, Kane, The Undertaker, like, I can just go on, man, like, <laughs> he didn't rip off his shirt like he usually does. And who's going to come in at number two? Oh, we have Goldberg. Dude, to this fucking day, this is still one of the most badass entrances of all time. Goldberg was the fucking man, not Becky Lynch. I mean, like, yeah, he didn't have the best move set, but who gives a shit? I mean, first of all, that's not what Goldberg was known for. Like, all you Meltzer and Cornette fanboys just need to get the fuck over yourselves. Wrestling was never all about these Daniel Bryans and Lance Storms of the world. It's about people like Goldberg. You know, people who look badass and could put asses in seats. But I'm not going to get into that stuff, so... Um... And it's time to play the game. Ooh, let me see if I can... What the fuck? Trying to get him out of here. I want to try and see if I can do the big boot. Leg drop. Aw, oh, fuck you, Kane. Aw, <laughs> oh, crap. Get the fuck off me. What the fuck, man? I can't do a fucking big boot, man. <laughs> Come on. Choke swing on Shawn Michaels. Oh. And I'm out of here. Mm. Um, I want to try and see if I can beat Kane. Um, just hang in there for a little bit longer, please. X-Factor. Uh, oh, here comes Randy Orton. Oh, I can select now. I'm gonna be Kane. Ooh, the jackknife powerbomb on fucking Randy Orton. out of here. Ah, come on. Get the hell out of here, X-Pac. So, I want to try and see if I can beat Kane's record from the 2001 Royal Rumble. Um, like, some people argue that he should have won that Rumble. But, I don't know. I mean, having Kane versus The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 17? Um, no. Just keep it simple to Rock and Austin. Ah, oh, fuck you, Matt. Get the fuck off me. Damn, Billy Kidman. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Ah, uh, come on. Ah, uh, he counters it. Uh... Get the fuck off me. What's the fate? Oh, fuck you, Matt. <laughs> oh, you can't pick me up, man. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Choke slam, bitch. That's what you get for giving me that twist of fate. Toss his ass out of here. I think that's four, right? Is that four or five people I got out? I'm not too sure, really. <laughs> Tossing Benoit out. It's probably five. Tossing Benoit. Fucking Taz out of here. Edge. 
We got Jeff Hardy in here. Ah, oh, come on. Eliminated. I'm trying to remember. Wasn't that? Actually, that was eight. Yeah. Yeah, that was eight eliminations right there. Okay. I'm trying to take out to Jerry. Ah, oh, I couldn't get him out. Ah, oh, fuck. That was probably nine right there. Choke slam on Jeff Hardy. Choke slam to hell. Damn you, fucking Raven. <laughs> oh, you can't pick me up, man. That's 10 right there. Ooh, RVD's in here. That's 11, yep. I just tied the record right there. And here's RVD. And here comes Scott Steiner. Try and get him out of here. Damn you, RVD. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, man. RVD's out of here. And that was a 12 right there, so I beat the record. Uh -oh, let's see. Yeah, Kane's in his like 2001 attire. Um, let's see. Scott Steiner eliminated. That's 13. Trying to get rid of Brock Lesnar. Ah, uh, Brock. <laughs> Kane just did a freaking backflip. Damn you, Taker. And he's out of here. Ah, oh, crap. Trying to get Brock Lesnar. Yes, now he's out of here. I think that was like, what, 14 now, I believe? No! Oh, yes, counted it. And he's out of here. Get the fuck off me, Rock. Oh, now he's trying to fucking counter my moves. Ugh. Get the hell off me. Damn you, Rock. Ah, the Rock Bottom. Ugh. I'm gonna try and see if I can do the flying clothesline. Flying clothesline! Oh my god, Kane's got so much momentum behind him. The rock counters. 
Get the hell off me, Rock. Choke slam your fucking ass straight to hell, bitch. Ah. Uh. Get your fucking ass out my ring. And your winner of the Rumble is Kane. So there you have it, folks. Um, that was the gameplay for SmackDown. Here comes the pain for um the modded version of it um you know 10.5 so so if you want to check it out then i'd recommend you check out scott j the channel but anyways fuckers that was the gameplay footage right here so yep later